right, John, are you ready to absolve some motherfuckers? Are you ready to look at some some of the some of the the things, the bad things that people have done and been like that? Hey, that's okay. That's all right. You're you're still a pretty good person. Are we gonna be priests and just be like, you know, absolve <laughs> yeah. you of your sins? We're gonna my sell son. indulgences. We're gonna make so much money. Hey, everybody, welcome to the dojo. That took a weird don't, turn. Don't don't be like that. That dude. That dipshit in, in Houston. Oh, in, in Houston, yeah. Uh, I'm Jeff, by the way. I'm John. Uh, and we're playing Absolver. Hey! Uh, we didn't actually have a Super Awesome Video Game Show last week because of said hurricane, um, as as well as a whole bunch of other factors. Uh, but I figured this is going to kind of be like a, uh, like half of a dojo and half of a Super Awesome Video Game Show. So, um, this is the latest game from you and I's favorite publisher, Devolver Digital. Oh, shit! Uh, and this is, we, we've been hearing about this for a long time. This is like yeah, a, we have. Uh, a fighting game, and I'm going to I'm gonna tell you guys. Also like a weird MMO Yeah, game yeah. Thing. We're going to play it offline for the moment, um, but I'm going to tell you guys right now, I already beat this game. Um, oh, shit. So, do you want to be Jeff a knows what he's doing. dude or a lady? I don't do, care. Do, 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 dude do, do, looks do. like a lady. Yeah, dude, I was a lady when I played through the thing, so we got some haircuts. Oh, man, we got to go with that man bun, that hot man bun. Let's see what we got here. Uh, spiky, 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 spiky. No, no mohawk? Is it? I don't know. That's what That's what we got. Wow. We I'm go with, disappointed. Go with this one. Looks like... Uh, Potted. Yeah, just uh, we'll go with... Uh, oh, he's like Draco Malfoy or something. <laughs> I don't, uh, uh, okay, so this is interesting. Um, I Actually, I'm going to be able to tell people who maybe are be interested in playing Absolver an awful lot about this game because, like I said, I did beat it last night. So the first thing that you have to pick is your combat style. And basically what this means is when you're playing the game, your right stick will do something different, right? Uh, it's not just for, like, looking around. It's actually part of the combat system. And there are three styles. The hardest one is this one called uh, Forsaken. And this is, like, if you push in the direction, that's what's going on in the little video down there. So when somebody's attacking you, if you push your right stick in the direction of where they're coming, you'll parry and basically slow down time, and you get a real big opening to hit them oh, back okay. with. okay. But it's really difficult. I don't usually play with that style. Um, this is the easy one. It's called Kahit. Uh, and basically what this is, is if you push any direction on the right stick, in time with the hits, you absorb the hits, and this is kind of like Bloodborne, where if you absorb the hits, you take the damage, but then if you hit them back, you get the damage back. Oh, okay. My one is this one, Windfall, which is basically a short dodge that you can use to just kind of get away from the person's attacks, and uh, it also gives you a little bit of an opening. I like this one quite a bit. So this is the Dark Souls method. So, well, the Dark Souls method would probably be parry. This is like the Noob Souls method. Actually, all of these indicate a different Dark Souls discipline, um, but I'm going to go with this one, and you can also see that uh, these are to change your different stat kind of focuses. So the this is like a heavy guy, a heavy character with strength and vitality. This is dexterity, and then Perry is very light uh, with a slight focus on strength. So I'm gonna go with with this one. And John, we're gonna need a funny name for our person. Keanu. Keanu. Has Keanu ever been blonde in a movie? I don't think Has so. Has there ever been a blonde Keanu? We are the first people to have a blonde Keanu. Also, he's, he's much more tan than Keanu, so. I know Kung Fu. Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa. Um, so you know what? I've actually played all the way through this game, but what I didn't do was watch this opening cut scene because I wanted to be able to react to it oh. on the dojo. So I played through the entire game, and they were talking about all these different terms and stuff, and I was just like, I don't know what that shit means. <laughs> Very enjoyable, very enjoyable game, but didn't didn't know what it was. So I'm hoping right. that we can at least get to a couple of bosses in this. All right, everybody, pray, pray, keep praying. I absolve you of your sins. Whoa, the Lord and stuff. Oh shit! What are they praying to? Like, oh, they got their masks. Oh, I see. Because everybody in yeah. Absolver wears a mask. Well, not everybody. Like, that guy doesn't. There's one of them walking around in a mask going, I'm Batman. Nope. You. Keanu, come with me. Yes, I Sensei. <laughs> the rest of you freeze to death. Oh, shit. Was that like a ghost? A poltergeist? Polterghost? Here, touch my mask. 
Oh shit, is this Dr. Fate? Is this just a secret Dr. Fate game that I've been playing this whole time? Oh shit. It's Nabu or Nobu or Nibnob or whatever his name is. The Mask of Nienub. All right. Shove this vortex on your face. I can see through time. Fuck. Whoa, man. Whoa. Whoa. What was in that mask? Fuck. This looks like outside. How did I get out here? Okay, so I apparently didn't miss any part of the story. <laughs> I thought that when we get to watch this, I was going to be like, oh, it all makes sense now. None of it makes sense now. So anyway, um, I find you know what's really interesting about this game, John, is that uh, I like the art style. Uh, yeah, the art style is really nice. The entire game world is relatively small because there's no like fast travel or any of that bullshit. You're basically just running across yeah. the world, um, and you can kind of traverse from one side of the world to the other in eh, I'd say about thirty minutes or so. No, oh, okay. Uh, so uh, it's actually kind of interesting because you have uh, the button layout. A lot of times when games like this kind of do kind of a Soulsian style thing. I feel like they try to ape the control schema, but because this is a fighting game, the attacks are all the face buttons instead of um, uh, the shoulder buttons like they are yeah. in Dark Souls. So your regular attacks are are square, and then you've got uh, kind of a special attack that you use the triangle for. Uh, you'll see when I do my attack that that's my stamina bar down at the bottom. So when you do a lot of attacks, it uh, it, it goes down. Yeah, you got to dodge. You know, a little dodge that you can use. That's actually different because everybody can do that. And then I've got my own like parry dodge. This is the one from the class that I've got. Um, what I find is kind of interesting is you see when I hit how there's a little yellow flash on my guy. Yeah. That's how you do combo. So you go if you can time it correctly, then you get a, a much harder hit. Um, and you can put together, we're not even remotely to that place yet, but yeah. you can put together interesting combos. You also notice that in the bottom left-hand corner, I've got that little heart. Yes. That is basically healing, um, but that's what's really interesting about healing is that when you activate that, you see these little shards that I've got on my belt. Mm -hmm. uh, as you do defensive moves, those fill up, and then you can cash those in for powers. So if you do the heal, it costs two shards. What's interesting about it is that it heals a tiny amount, but then it heals more every time you hit the enemy. But if they ever hit you, then it stops. Oh, okay. Um, you also now have a combat deck. So down at the bottom of the screen, you now see that uh, the, you've got this. If you hold down R2, you can switch between two different forward stances and two different back stances. And this, like, um, changes the way that your attacks work. So, like, let's say that I'm in forward stance and I have this elbow attack. But now I'm in back stance. And I have that elbow attack, and this back stance has a kick. So uh, we haven't gotten to the actual combat deck yet, but that's where you you put together um, kind of a, a series of attacks. Look your door. That all uh, um, chain together. Okay. So guard. It. Now this is the other thing that took me a long time because this game was not very forthcoming with information. So you see when I blocked the attack, how that little bar came up on her. Um, the way that you make other, the way that you um, learn new techniques is you have to let people, like you have to block them or dodge when they try to hit you with that attack. But then that little bar is blue because I don't actually get that XP towards that new thing until I beat this enemy. So if the enemy manages to beat me, then I don't get shit. Um, also, you can block. So now let's actually have a fight with somebody who fights back. Um, Get her, Keanu! Bam! So, you can see that I got a bunch of things. Also, yeah, yeah if you start to punch and then you hit the guard button right away, um, you'll do that. So it's oh. like a feint. Oh, cool. You can basically cancel. Um, I'm not going to dick with a lot of this because I kind of want to get back out into the world. And we still have a boss to beat. Um, one thing the game is a little bit difficult, uh, or can be a little bit difficult with, is a lot of times they will throw two people at the same time at you. And that presents like a whole different kind of can of worms because... Because you have to worry about the other person attacking you yeah. as well. Uh, in fact, there was one set of kind of mini mid bosses that I um, fought where only the one that you were the one that you were locked onto would always block, and the one that you weren't locked onto would always attack. And so it was almost just like, like, just really frustrating. <laughs> um, it's very visceral, and it's really 
it's very satisfying, this game. Yeah? I mean, like, I when I watched it, I was like, I hope this isn't just some kind of, like, super hard Dark Souls, like... Mixed with Final Fight. Yeah, but it really is its own thing. Like, it's got a lot of Dark Souls DNA in it, but it's really its own thing, and I really appreciate... I, 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 like, I really like what I've got here, so... Um, in order for to open this door, we have to go beat a boss real fast. So let's go do that. I don't know. What are you thinking so far from what you've seen? Uh, I mean, it looks interesting. I think it's like $30, $30, which I think is a little bit more than I would normally expect to pay for a game like this. But um, I did enjoy it. Uh, I think I'd probably expect more like a 20 like 20 bucks for this. Um, yeah, I, I would probably say like 20 25 maybe at most from what I'm seeing. But then again, it's persistent. There's a world, apparently. You know, you can play against other players. That's true. In fact, there's a lot of stuff, even though I beat the game, that I haven't gotten into yet. Yeah. Like, uh, so this is your your kind of menu screen, and you've got, um, you've got your equipment. And you can see this is interesting because down in the bottom left-hand corner, it's kind of got same, like, Dark Souls rules where, like, the more you're wearing right now, it's kind of hard to see because of where the thing is. But you see how it says fast down there in the bottom yeah. left-hand corner? Like, the more defensive stuff that you put on, the lower your, your, uh, uh, you get slower, but you're more protected. So you've got that trade off. So you've got that, you've got equipment. Uh, you also can uh, choose a weapon when you get a weapon later on. And this is how you like set your powers. It never really tutorializes this, but this is like where you find out what all this stuff actually okay. does. And then you've got uh, meditation, which basically puts you into this screen where you can level up. So I'm going to put a point in strength and then uh, hit OK on that. Uh, in addition to leveling up, you've also got, oops, no, no what's I was trying to do? And the nice thing about this is that you can do this anywhere. Like unlike Dark Souls, you don't have to like be at a bonfire or anything. Oh, it doesn't, OK, it hasn't given us access to the rest of that until we beat the first boss. So let's go. Let's take I like our, the, your uh, Red Hood uh, mask. Yeah. Yep. All right, motherfucker. Let's do this. Come on, hit me. There you go. Yeah, these guys are really easy. The only thing that's weird is that after playing the game, it took me about eight hours to finish this, and I kind of finished it on accident. Like, I was kind of just like, oh, I'm going to play this. Then I was like, I really, really like this. Then I ended up beating it. So here's our first boss. Ceylon, the door guardian, and he's going to be a little bit more tricksy than the scrubs out there in Scrubland, but probably not super difficult. I think he does, um, he'll parry if we try to get too sassy molassy with him. Well, he's really not doing that much. <laughs> Did you just bow to him? Yeah. I just was Because was he's a computer? I was taunting him. Like a dick. Because you've got a whole thing where you can just be like, yeah! Or like, I don't even know. Or, oh man. Or like, uh-uh-uh. Or, come over, get over here. Uh, then down here, this is how you... Um, uh, these are for multiplayer. So yeah. when you're playing, we we're playing offline right now because it's really chaotic online. But when you're online, like if you s like look at another character, you can like request co-op. You can stop co-op. You can request to stop a fight. You can declare a fight with somebody. I've never actually managed to get anybody to co-op with me. I had one guy chase me around and fight me, and uh, eventually I managed to get killed by him. So. Okay. All right. So we've gone through our proving grounds. Open up this door. Get into the Absolver main game. So this, is, this guy is one of the friendly NPCs that you kind of see throughout. I am Talam. I will try to help you. If you lose yourself to the fold, I won't be able to save you. Don't know what that means, Talam. Those who wear the mask are not your enemies. You know, I won't. Uh, right, those who wear the mask are not all your enemies. I won't attack you when you're safe. You can enter meditation. Practice, press your combat deck. Okay. So now we can get to the other parts of this. We also got to uh, level up in here real fast. So go ahead and hit OK on that. So here we go. Uh, I'm, I don't really even know what what these are. I haven't gotten far enough in the game to really tell like what these numbers down here mean. But when you get into practice, you can basically edit your deck. And so this expands over time. What's interesting is that you've got these. And you see how like. Um, 
that attack ends down there. So that attack, like if you watch the little square at the bottom, it starts in the upper right, but it ends in the bottom left. So like I have a deck set up that basically like starts here and then has a bunch of attacks that then go to this, that then chain into this so that you can kind of chain through stuff. But as you get new attacks, you can put them, um, I'll put this sweep in. So now we've got these two go from here to here and then down to here and then back up to here. Uh, so it's actually really, um, really in depth and it takes a while to get used to. Like at first it was a bit daunting, but since all you're doing in this game is fighting, um, uh, you get a lot of you get a lot of practice at it. So uh, let's go kick some more ass. I don't know. I really like it because it's like it's taking kind of Soulsian um, like combat aesthetics, but then it's actually doing something interesting. Like it reminds me a lot of um, what's that? What's that weird game with? Father, mother, or whatever. Oh, um, Xeno yeah, Clash, Xenoclash, or yeah. something like that. Like it kind of reminds me more of that than it really does of like, say, Souls. Like it's more, it's super focused on making sure that the um, that the combat experience is just tippy tippy top. And I think it is. I I. I don't know. You hear a lot about how much I like this game this episode, folks. Strap in. I don't know. I was trying to think. What was the last like melee fighting game that came out? Like brawler or beat 'em up or? Well, I mean, there's like a lot a of indie person. games that are kind of like that. But um, is it the last big, big? Do we have a big triple A type of thing that was just like getting your hands dirty? Not a shooter, but just beating ass. I can't think of any. Off the top of my head. Yeah, me neither. All right, Keanu, let's go. Gotta go to wizard school. Or whatever is going on there. It's like a much prettier version of Dark Souls 3. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go light the bonfire. Wouldn't that have been cool if, Bar if Dark Souls 3 had looked like this? Had been like this verdant like uh, place instead of like yet another dilapidated kingdom that was all broken down and shit? <laughs> I don't know. I think some people would have probably been upset. Well, this is the internet, John. Everybody's upset about everything all the time. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go in here. Guidance Bridge. Mm -hmm. You go here for guidance. Yep. It's like, go across me. Go across me. Keep going. Keep moving. Okay, you're good. All right, keep moving. Go forward. So this is our hub, and these, are, these th things here are kind of like our bonfires. Uh, you actually will see things that kind of look like that on the ground uh, in a lot of places. And those in those places you can um, are checkpoints. Oh, okay. But what's interesting is that, like, this is as much of a map as we ever get, right? Oh, okay. And we're going to talk to this guy, and he's going to tell us that our, basically our job is to go find all those little dots and make them not be dots. To come an Absolver, you will have to prove your worth and defeat Rizrin in the Hang Gardens of the Tower of Adol. Some made-up bullshit words. But first, you must beat Curates in the Coliseum, kill Nora and her brother Cargall in the old birdhouse. That dude looks like he's seen some shit. And the six marked ones roaming the city and the forest. You just look at that face. He's just like, oh, I don't even like to look at people when I talk to him. He's just staring off like, I have seen some shit. Only then will the stone gate of the Imperial Tower open. This headstone will show your remaining targets. Beware of these foes. They will not be defeated easily. So... Uh, I figure, uh, do you want to, mm, I was going to go to the countryside, but we can go to the city if you want. I don't know. I feel like we've already been run through some ruins. I, you, doesn't matter. You, it's you, it's you, your game. Man. Okay. You, you lead us to where we go. I'll try to make the stupid jokes okay. and <laughs> you be inf more informative. All right. Yeah. Here we go. So that basically, if I die, this is where you respawn. And what's ah. interesting is that. I don't really know how the experience system works, but like there, you don't drop souls or anything. Like there is, when you go to meditation, you can see that you do have like an XP gauge, but I don't know if you lose that XP when you die or what. I never really had much of a problem with it, um, but that's an incredibly arrogant statement to make. I'm just like, I don't know, man. It didn't seem like much of a problem to me. I just, 
I just stopped dying. I mean, if you just stop dying. You just get good, noob. Yeah, just get good, man. Just fucking get good. And, uh, you know, then maybe uh, you'll have a better time when you're playing Absolver. Hey, buddy. What's up? So from here, we're going to start to see the, a little bit of an... Uh, we can see some enemies start to pull some bullshit or some new tricks. Um, I feel like each area has a different kind of like theme of enemies. Like some of the enemies will be, um, will use that kind of like strength school on you, and some of them will use the, will be closer to like what I'm using. What? No. That is one problem that I have had with this game is that sometimes the enemies get confused about where our, our fight boundaries are. And then it, you just, they'll see they're just going to keep running back to their little. Dude, you're getting fucked up by two people. That's eh, all right. The, oh, you also get back some health every time you kill somebody. So, oh, and the enemies can hit each other too, which wow. is interesting. So I see I just like got a fair amount of health back from that. Um, did that person drop a thing? Okay, they didn't drop a thing. So this boss, uh, oh, and then these are the equivalent of treasure chests. Which pile you, of rocks. Mm -hmm. You meet a guy later who's like, I've been putting stuff for you into piles of rocks all around the countryside. You're like, oh, thanks, crazy. Come on, dude. Dudes or ladies or whatever you are. What? Nope. Okay. Okay. I really would like to do a kick. Nope. Okay. I mean, if you're not sure if they're male or female, you could always go the Amanda technique of just calling them G-Unit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We talked about that, I believe, on, on Rabbids uh, this week. Okay, here we go. And just be like, what up, G-Unit? You know, there's a boss on the other side of you assholes, and I'd really rather not just, like, go into that with zero health. Oh, oh nice faint. Real good sound effects too in this yeah. game, like the thump, 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 like all that stuff really does work well. Uh, let's go ahead and level up once real quick here. I really do appreciate that they are slavish about making you level up specifically, like in uh, uh, yeah, that's one of these nice shoulders. Now I'm only normal speed. Uh, about like le only making you level up at. Um, checkpoints. Also, when you're out of combat, you can run forever. Like, there's no, like, stamina thing. So here we've got Revario! Oh, shit. So that is what a parry looks like. Ah, shit. Fuck. God damn it, Revario. Right, let's try this heal thing. Oh, shit. Oh, no! That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Ah, fuck. Oh, Jeff, yep. you may have a problem. I may have a bit of an issue here. But Vario's kind of kicking your ass. No, no, no. Okay, got some health back with that. So, like, the health thing doesn't stop until you get hit. Um, okay. So you can see that... Revario was kind of kicking my ass, but used some of my fucking Absolver smarts to get some health back. I am out of stamina like a motherfucker, though. Okay. Well, it's because you're dodging like crazy. you dot dodging, vibing, and weaving. Oh. What you got? What you got? Oh, shit. Fuck you, Revario. God damn it. Okay. <sighs> No! Ah, you son of a bitch, Revario! Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! You gotta, you gotta use those those techniques. I'm trying. Uh, this is just like a straight-up skill competition, though. I, oh, uh -oh. fuck! Oh! Revario! Mario! Uh... So yeah, all the different bosses kind of have like a different set of skills, but what I do appreciate is that none of them are like a giant fucking dragon or some bullshit like that. Yeah. Uh, 
That's true. I only beat the game one time, and it definitely puts you in New Game Plus immediately. Um, New Game Plus, all you fight is Sasquatch. <laughs> and he knows Kung Fu. There's a lot of Sasquatches out here. What? Is and that... maybe a bear. All right. Yeah, we got some chest armor. Because I feel like if you're going to have a game where you're, uh, you know, where you're fighting... I'll take it. Alright, if I had a bear. I am a little bit disappointed that you don't get a chance to like make your person like fat. Like I would have liked to have made a real fat guy fighter, but Well, it feels like everyone in this world is maybe uh n not uh well nourished. Yeah. Or is, you know, God. nourished to be lean, mean fighting machines. Yeah. Take that, Rivario. See what you like oh, that. No. Oh. oh! I really like that kind of elbow. That um, I, I love the elbow and I love the kick as well. That kind of flip front kick. Um, I'm not as much of a fan of the uh, kind of axe kick that gets thrown around. that one so I know you said that the heel thing uh, does it until you uh, until you get hit yeah but is there any kind of like cooldown on it like after well it takes shards to, okay. to use so you can see that right now I don't actually have any shards um, so those are those little I've got one shard now back behind me see so floating behind me uh. but you get those from doing defensive moves so um, Oh, shit. That was too far away. Oh, fuck. Revario! So now I've got two. So if, if you get two shards, you can totally do it whenever you want to. Um. Oh, fuck! Revario! There we go. Level up! So I also just got a, uh, a new technique from him uh, called Earthquake that basically... Um, oh, no. Here, just confirm. That's fine. Uh, that I can equip. Where do you equip that? Oh, I think that's in your um, equipment. Yeah. So this is another power that I can use. And if you get two shards, um, you can hit the ground and stun enemies oh, that are close okay. to you. Uh, as the game goes on, you'll also get. Um, oh, you can see that I killed. I killed him. So his little thingy goes away. Bing. Bing. Um, as the game goes on, uh, eventually you get access to uh, weapons as well um, which you can basically manifest for a certain number of shards um, but then if you get hit too much like if you take too many hits in a row you'll actually drop the weapons uh, and other people can pick them up also um, after a certain amount of time they just break and they go oh, away Okay. I don't really use the powers all that much oh ouch Ah, motherfuckers! Yeah! There okay. you go. Uh, I think there's just a treasure chest up here, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Well, there it is. Uh-huh. And let's see. I was going to try to go to the um, that place that where they were talking about, like, the barn where the two brothers or the brother and sister were. Okay. <sighs> I don't know. Let's see. see. Oh, fuck. Oops. Whoa. No, no, no. Oh, God damn it. Oh, he's coming with you. Yeah, he's coming with me. Come on, dude. You want to kick? I'll give you a kick. Damn it. Dodge game is off today. Whoa. Motherfucker. Here we go. As you can see, some people drop uh, shit that you can equip. Yeah. Got some elbow pads in here. Look at that. Look at that. Hot stylish elbow pad action. This might kind of remind me of. It's a weird kind of 
colors that he's got. I don't, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oops. Oops. Well, okay. Probably didn't want to... A Final Fantasy character of some sort. So what were you... Uh, I, th this has been a, a fucking banner week for games, John. Yeah. What have you been interested in that came out this week? We got Rabbids. Uh, we had... Well, I really want to play Rabbids. Warriors like, All-Stars. I want to play Mario plus Rabbids. Like, Amanda was telling me she had a lot of fun with it. And, like, I'm like, oh, man, I wish we had a Switch so I could totally play it. Yeah. Um... I don't know. Like, I, I've kind of been ignoring everything because, you know, I still don't have internet. And, uh, yeah. Though uh, Darkest Dungeon did get released, uh, ported to iPad, and it's fucking great. Uh, oh, yeah. You've been yeah. you've been playing a lot of that recently. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Since the port's great. It's a great port. Cool. Uh, it's But, yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, it works really well on an iPad. Okay. Uh, it doesn't seem like the sort of game that would need a lot. Yeah. Right? Um yeah, I kind of like it. Kind of feels like it was made for an iPad, if mm. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but like I said, other than that, it's really good. Let's see what we got. Uh, this is the temple. The Forgotten Temple. I thought I was going to the other place. I don't know. Let's see if we can we can beat the boss here. It's funny because if you know where everybody in this game is, you can actually kind of just work through it. Now, whether you can actually beat the bosses is going to be like. Largely a uh, matter of like whether your skill, you know, with the fighting system is good enough. Motherfucker, I am trying to kill your friend. All right. Now is your turn. Yeah, just wait in line. Perry McCrap face. Perry White, parrying all the time. Get over here. Great Caesar's ghost. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Tell me. I think I'm gonna level up, or I'm gonna get um, whatever that technique is that he's been trying to hit me with. Okay. Oh, or she, as the case may be. Level up. Got some boots. Some sick boots. Let's go ahead and put those Are on. they sick boots, though? Um, I don't know. Pretty sick. At least I won't have to get my ankles wet. Ankle deep in this bullshit. Uh, okay, let's... I think I can get through here pretty quickly. The first time I came here, I really wanted to know what was in that water. You then you, you got in the water and died? Yeah, it's death. That's what's in the water. I mean, it looks like death would be in that water. Oh, fuck. Also, it's really easy when you're trying to knock somebody off the edge of a thing in this game. To fall off yourself. To fall off yourself. Because there's like a momentum to your fighting that tends to just like... Oh, fucking God damn it. Okay. Why don't you go fight me over here? Or you could just be stupid AI, mother... Puss bucket. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. Okay. No, get closer to the water. I want to shoot. I want to punch you into the lake. Oh, motherfuckers. All right, fine. Oh, almost. Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. Come on. You know you want to get in that water. Look how inviting it looks. It's full of red algae. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know you can get up here. All right, there you go. Have fun with that. Wait, was that a... Is it like a... Oh, do they drop a thing? No, yeah, it looks like they dropped a thing. But you can get it. Oh, wait, look. There's a thing over here. Hey, it's a scarf. Let's see what, what kind of scarf it is. Put that on. Hey. I do kind of appreciate the fact that due to the art style, like there's not really a, uh, a an equipment set that you can put on that'll make you look any more stupid than you normally look. Yeah. I mean, everybody's kind of like dressed in tatters from their head to their foot. So um, if I remember correctly, let's see. I think there's a... Uh, it's one of these. And then this temple, I believe, is where the boss is. That seems like that guy would be a boss. Let's see. Does he have a name? Yeah, he does. His Angrel! I'm so Angrel right now. Oh, fuck. He is... See, now you see the blue stuff that's coming off of yeah. him? That is the... Um, uh, that's the easy mode, basically, the uh, absorb damage method which a lot of people will use. I just understood, though, what the last boss in this game does, John. Yeah? Uh, yeah, they uh, use all the techniques. Um, I was just so 
concern with beating them that I didn't I didn't really notice that. You're talking about the very last boss of the game or the last boss we fought? The last boss of the game. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh The people who do the absorb stuff, you got to be really careful because it'll seem like you're hitting them a lot, but if you don't like back up and then not let them like kind of uh, spoil their counterattack, then they do take the damage they took. But if you stay in too close, then they'll just eat it. And then when your combo's done, they just kind of come at you and get that damage back. Like that. Okay, come on. I think you got this, Jeff. I think I did too. Angrel's getting all... Angrel's getting punched in the face! Okay, look, are you just gonna let me just like spam punch you in the face? Okay, all right, that's cool. I'll do that too. I don't care, I don't give a fuck. Um, so there we go, we got another one. I was kind of wondering how long, like if I could actually just like completely play this entire game in one episode. I don't think that that's going to be feasible, though. Got elbow pads. Uh, I do think, though, I'm going to just run out of this area and not fight anybody, because I would like... We're getting kind of high up there in uh, video terms. So anyway, uh, if people want to, to play this game... Um, I think it's well worth it. I think yep. that there's a lot. I think there's a lot to it. I really enjoy the art style. I really enjoy. Oh, okay, that was just a big circle. Uh, I really enjoy the art style. I think that like I, it was funny because I feel like this got announced a long time ago, and that I was kind of like, why? Are, why is this taking so long? You know, this is just like this kind of like indie fighting game thing. Like, why isn't it out by now? And I feel like they spent a lot of time playtesting this. The other thing is that we haven't even done the online thing yet. When you're playing online, it's like this is like um, journey where there's just people like roaming around the world that there are also up there. Yeah. Uh, you can go talk to him and he'll tell you some bullshit about the world, but I'm going to try to find the, uh, that place where those twins are before we finish up here. Um, uh, and then you can like, so you'll just be like running around. In fact, you know what? Let's see. Can I, can I just go online No. Okay. I got to do that from the, uh, the start from the uh, opening screen but basically um you uh you just oh shit okay well that's not even a thing um you can just see people in the world like fighting the ai and then you can walk up to them and be like hi would you like to party and they'll either punch you in the face or they'll party and then you can basically co-op the game but since you know even for the enemies there's always Friendly fire is always on. Um, it means that uh, you have to be careful because you could totally fuck your, your teammate, which is interesting because, you know, I feel like that would solve a lot of problems in uh, the way that co-op makes Dark Souls, like, super, super easy if you, if you use it. Like, if you could hit the person that you brought into your game, I feel like that would be a, a big difference. That would be an interesting game changer. So, I don't know. Yeah. God damn it. Just die already. For the love of Donocles, just there we go. I'm trying to remember where the fucking rookery or wherever it was is, but uh, no, it's not there. It's not there. Is this where that temple was? Yeah, I think you're going back to the temple. Okay. Well, you have to go. Okay, so you have to go into there to go to the temple. Let's try left side. The other thing that is interesting is that the world is small enough that you can kind of just wander around and you'll just end up in a new place. Oh, hey, look at that. Uh, what? Uh, it's a uh, weapon laying around, a club, um, which I'm not going to waste on these yahoos. Let's see, maybe over here. Mm. Uh, okay. Ah, this looks good. This little bridge. Yeah, this is promising. This is new. Different. Mm -hmm. So uh, weapons uh, are interesting because uh, even if you block... Yeah, that's this is where I was calling the bird collar. Bird collar's outpost. Mm -hmm. uh, is that if you... Um, Turn a corner, you see a guy going, Hey, birds! <laughs> How's it going? 
just yapping and just talking to birds. Who's that? That's the that's the bird man. It's a bird caller. We call him bird man. Oh wait, hold on. I think I'm leaving. This is his house. But this is it's like that's the bird caller. Mm -hmm. This is it's calling birds. Uh, yeah. This is where I need to go over here. Um, I think. Yeah. Here we go. So weapons, uh, you know, have durability and they will break. But the nice thing about them is that um, even if you block them, uh, they still do damage. So, oh, god damn it, which is nice when you're on the having a weapon side and a little bit less nice when you're on the getting hit in the face with a sword side. God damn it. And if you get hit too much, you will drop them. Would you fucking get off me? You ah! Oh shit. Okay, fine. Ooh, he is fucking your shit up. <sighs> yeah, hit your friend. See if I care. Oh god damn it. Okay, I need some space on you assholes. I need to cast my heal. Ah, jeez. Because you got two of them. Yeah. If you know what they say, Jeff. What's that? Get good, noob. Ah, uh, no. You can't say that to me. I, I invented I that. No, you didn't. That's true. I didn't. I took credit for that. Uh, I'll give you that one. Okay, what do we got? Uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, god damn it. What's funny is that we are right by the spawn point, so, yep. Uh. You were defeated. All right, let's try Let's try a little fisty fists and none of this fucking using a weapon bullshit. I didn't come here to use weapons. I didn't come here to make friends. All right, here we go. Come on, ass face. Come on, let's do this. Round two. Okay, all right. Oh, all right, all right. You fucking jerk taculars. Uh, oof. It really is much more satisfying to fight one person at the same time, or one, do one on one on one, but I could see how if that was all you were doing, it would end up being, a, they would have to expand some of the move sets even larger than they currently are because you, you, you've seen that I've rarely had a problem outside of bosses with just a one on one fight. Yeah. Um, and they do work pretty well together. Oh, that guy just... Wrong goddamn place, the wrong goddamn time. Oh, there we go. And now it should be no problem. There we there go. go. Okay. Let's see if we can fight uh, if our... Boss twins are out over here. I don't know if they are. Oh, <laughs> you almost killed your friend. Look at that. Now your friend is dead. You're trying to hit me with stuff, will you? That's what they're doing. Oh, mother They seem to be succeeding. Motherfucker. motherfucker. Come on, you son of a bitch. Did you hear that uh, Bethesda launched that uh, the mod store this week? Oh, yeah. And it's basically just what we everybody thought it was it was just buying buying skins buying mods from bethesda kind of sucks or i don't know i haven't actually looked at it firsthand yeah I'll be honest. I, did, I mean i saw something saying that one of the first items that went up for it was uh uh fallout 4 uh power horse armor oh and it was like the fallout 4 power armor but it had horse heads on it oh god come on bethesda <laughs> <laughs> like I was just like, see, we're making a joke here because of ha -ha. horse armor. Because we started all this bullshit in the first place with horse armor. That was totally cosmetic. God, that was a fiasco. Um, fuck. Oh, look. Okay, so if I can beat that guy, then I can get that technique that I just uh, uh, got from... Ah, so close. There we go. So I got a jab now. Um, I have a feeling there's also, there's a guy that like if you, that will talk to you that tells you he will help you make your own school 
Oh, yeah? And I don't have any idea how that works, but I did beat the game. Probably an online thing. I think so. Because um, I know you, like, one of the things in the, the trailers that they talked about was, like, get it, finding a person who can teach you mm -hmm. new stuff and, like, mentor student relationships. So I would assume there's some type of school thing. Oh, shit. Okay. I thought this was where the twins were. Okay. Oh, fucking. No. Come on, Amasaba. She got, like, crazy eyes. Look at Jawa face. Utini! Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Cool. I didn't. Oh, fuck. Well, I did. I wasted that. All right. What you got? What you got? What you got for me, Amasaba? Oh, you got some parries is what you got. Okay. There you go. What? Uh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Fucking goddamn. Fucking goddamn. Oh, got punched right in the face. Uh, fuck. Okay. Bad you can't like jump down and do like a flying kick to the face. Yeah. Oh shit. God damn, that was nice. She's a she's a dodger like I am. I have superior Yeah, dodging. but you don't really seem to be dodging all that much. Get it? Oh <laughs> fuck! Because you're getting hit all the time. Ah son of a crap ball. And you were defeated. Yep. Alright, let's see if I can get. I think I know what how this works, but I'm gonna. I think if I just run right in there, am I going to drag a bunch of people with me if I run right in there? I don't know. Oh, what is this? It's take a, weapon. a sword? Yeah, all right. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. It just, to no end does it, uh, does it satisfy me when they hit each other. It's just the greatest thing in this game. Okay, here we go. You also have a whole separate move set for uh, weapons to add even more uh, complexity to an already fairly complex game. Come on, just die already. Oh, I broke the weapon. Okay, good. Good job, Jeff. Nah, it clearly wasn't that powerful a weapon. Okay. Let's go fight. Rob and Rob, Robble, Robble. Oh, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. So maybe a little bit less. Okay, maybe a little bit less than that. A little bit more than that. A little bit less conversation. A little more action. Come on. Come on, come on, motherfucker. Tr trying to hit me in. Hit me. Ow. Okay, st stop trying to hit me in. Don't hit me. Okay. Uh, I'm surprised you haven't tried using the uh, the earthquake move thing. It doesn't do damage. It just pushes people away from you. Oh. Uh, the heal is more important than that at this point. Okay. You lock to that barn. Okay. Got a little flip kick. Flip kick. Oh. Hey, that's all right. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Careful, Jeff. I'm trying. I'm trying, trying. Oh, fuck. Oh. Still good. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, it's fine. I got a fair amount of health back. There, there we go. There you go. <sighs> Woof. So, wait a minute. Is it just in a different barn where those two kids are or whatever? Might be. Seems like it. Uh, is it this barn? Or which one of the... Uh, I know it's... Oh, fucking God damn it. I mean, it's up here. Let's see what we got. It's interesting because it's like um, some bosses are like the only time that you ever get anything like remotely resembling story. And for those two, uh, there is a definite cut scene. But I feel like I'm getting... Uh, maybe not. Let's see. What, what's up here? Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. All right. All right. The Adalian Columbri. And we'll, we're going to wrap it up here. 
Uh, I'm not going to go all the way to the end of this fight because it's already an hour long video. So, yep. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do what I've been doing this week and just forgo all the end stuff and say, um, you know, if you got a little bit extra money around, uh, Houston is fucked right now. Maybe consider I, there's already been a ton of people given a ton yeah. of stuff. So, um, oh, so they even speak another language. Yeah. Everybody does. Uh, so these are the two that basically when you when you're locked on to one of them the other one is the one that's attacking you and the one that you're locked on to they kind of take turns going after you for a while um, I actually fought them here way uh, later um, than I did before so anyway, uh, we're going to we'll wrap it up here. Uh, that's it, folks. Uh, join us back here tomorrow for another episode of Ages of uh, with Amanda and I. And um, yeah, this has been Absolver and it has been pretty fun. Thanks everybody for watching and good night. Peace out.